Hey there, welcome back. So today I will be doing another set of many, but first I already applied my UNT peel base. I just apply one coat and then I will be using these colors all from Triple D. So I will be doing some purples and lilacs. So first I will be starting with the lightest color which is this lilac. And I will be applying it to my thumb and uh, pinky finger. So I am just applying a thin layer of deep base and dip it to the powder. sure to clean your cuticles every after dipping. For this lilac powder, I applied three layers for my pinky and thumb. And now moving on to my middle finger, I will be doing an ombre of this lilac powder and the other one is this Ghostly Glow 2.0. It actually glows in the dark, that's why that's the name. And then I will be using these two eyeshadow brushes, one for each color. So these brushes are what I'm going to use to sprinkle the powder. I am just going to apply my deep base and then I will be starting with a darker color, which is the Ghostly Glow 2.0. I will be putting that one near the cuticle area. So dip the brush in the powder to get some products and then sprinkle it on, on your nail. Make sure that your nail is angled down and then uh, just gently tap 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 the brushes for it to put the powder on. So as you can see, I am just focusing the color in the half part of my nail and then later on we will be doing the lilac also in the other half part of this nail. This time, I am pointing my finger up so that the focus of the product application will only be on the empty half part. If you see that everything is now covered, I will just clean my cuticle area and will be dusting off all the excess powder before I start with my next layer. So I am just going to repeat the same process. But this time, I will be starting the other way around. I will apply the lilac first and the ghostly glow later. So you want to alternate it to achieve the ombre that you like. So this is going to be my last layer, but this time we will start with the Ghostly Glow 2.0. I am just applying my deep base and then we will do the sprinkling of the powder next. So again, you want to point your finger down in this process. And then later on, point your finger up when you're going to apply the next color. So by doing this, you are going to achieve that nice gradient effect. So I am 
now happy with how it looks like. Now we are going to move on with my glitter. I am going to use this color Risqué. It is part of Triple D's Bad Girls Club collection. They just released this color last week. So I am just removing those glitters that are in the sides of my nails. This is going to be my last layer so I am already uh, distributing the chunky glitters and make sure that it is properly placed and laying flat. But don't worry, these 3D glitters are so easy to work with. It will lay flat on your nails and it will not look like uh, bulky or whatsoever. So I am just adding these chunky glitters one by one to the areas that I would like them to be. And now we will be applying the last layer for my ring finger. I am just going to do the same process. Now that I am happy with the placement of the glitters, I will just dust off all the excess powders and will start to put clear dip powder on top of it. So I will be using this Azure Dip Powder, apply dip base and dip everything in the dip powder. So it's now time to activate. I will be using this Triple D activator. This is what's going to harden the nails and prepare it before we start filing. I am just going to file and shape my nails off cam and I will be back. So I am done shaping my nails and now I am just going to add these rhinestones and some gems to add more accent to my nails. I am just applying my gel top coat and we will be applying the rhinestone using this gem picker.
I'm just making sure that the gems are properly placed before I cure them in the lamp for 30 seconds. This time the gems are no longer moving but I will still be adding another layer of gel top coat so that I will properly seal those gems. in the lamp for another 30 seconds and we are almost done. I am just going to apply my cuticle oil and I will be back. And this is the final look. I super love how this mani turned out. They are so fancy and sparkly. Let me know what you guys think about this money in the comment box below. So thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. Thank you so much and I'll see you again on my next videos. Bye!